like that. Okay, so. Mary, yeah? see if the microphone is on. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, it's working now. Okay, so um, the theme of our piece that we were working based on was improv games. Uh, now, show of hands, how many people have played improv games before? Okay, quite a lot. For those of you that don't know what they are, that's it's basically just you know um, games you play for acting, for fun, you know whatever you do in your free time um, that help you prepare for performances. And um, we thought that integrating a lot of these into our rehearsal process would help make the piece better. So, um, our next question. Um, if you had to choose one word to describe our piece, what would it be? Oh, no, no, no don't all raise your hands at once. Okay, any answers, please. <laughs> there you go. Uh, colorful. colorful, okay. Entertaining. Entertaining, thank you, we try. Animated. Animated, <laughs> in multiple senses. The word we were kind of working off of was imagination. Because um, originally this piece actually, it evolved a lot during our rehearsal process. The original piece was a parody of Power Rangers. So we decided to set it in a child's playroom because that fit with our theme of imagination and games. And it helped us be a little more spontaneous in our rehearsal process. Um, so do you think that the work we did on our characters made them seem more genuine? Oh, um, I think so. I thought they were, like, I thought it was adorable, and I really loved it. Um, I thought the characters were very dynamic, and um, it was like watching a TV show where you're, like, cheering for them, and, like, we know it's, like, not a TV show, but, like, it felt like, you know, like, when you're little and you're just, like, you have that one show that you always watch, and I thought that was pretty, like, adorable. <laughs> Actually, we did um, work off the concept of like, you know, those really over-the-top superhero shows. Um, and so during the rehearsal process, we played a whole bunch of games because we decided that we were going to have caricatures of everything. There's the hero, the sidekick, the major villain, the minor villain, the dead father, so on. Um, and, uh, okay, on to our next question. Um, do you think that our projections I promise I can draw better than that in real life. Do you think they captured the childish nature of the piece? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a good sign. Um, which character did you find most interesting? <laughs> uh, yep, our uh, spin-off cat woman. Um, anyone else? security was called. So uh, that's kind of where the pink wasp came from. And then the cat woman um, came from a game of bus stop where a um, uh, certain someone was trying to uh, seduce another certain someone at a bus stop. So yeah. <laughs> um, it really, uh, this isn't, we didn't go into this piece expecting it would be the way it turned out to be. It was really a process. Um, Okay, this is the last one. What did you think of the pace of the performance? You? <laughs> Nell, okay. Call me by my name. I'm sorry. Anyway, what did you think? Um, I thought the pace was great considering that you were both like portraying children because in children's minds, uh, things are so rapid, at least like, and they're so full of energy, so I thought the pace was not too not too fast for the 
situation or whatever? Yeah, that was actually, you got it perfectly. We were trying to, um, you know, go for that childlike, exciting, adventurous feeling. The other reason that the pace of the piece was so fast was, um, how many characters did I play? Like five, six? Um, there were a lot of costume changes. Uh, originally, we were actually going to have a screen up. I'm going to change behind that, but that idea quickly went out the window. Um, so we decided to keep it minimalistic, I guess, in our set, costume, stuff like that, because, yeah, because we're going back to improv, we didn't want things to seem too rehearsed, because when you come up with things on the spot, they're so much more genuine than what you practice them ten times. So it was a bit of a challenge, a bit of a race to get it done, but it paid off, I think. Question? Comment? Just a comment. I thought that uh, on, on two levels, the energy level was very childlike, and very frenetic, the way kids are, the way they think. But the other thing I liked about it was, as a, the next level up was, wow, what are they going to do next? And how fast are they going to pull it off? The, the frenetic made it like watching a juggling actor or a plate spinner on top of everything else. Well, thank you, Dad. Thanks for coming tonight, too. No, I don't know any of you. Not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, anything else? Okay. Um, something that I really thought was funny about the pace was when um, the pink wasp's uh, father died. Um, I just thought that was really funny how it just like got over it <laughs> really quickly. It was like, oh yeah, my dad died. Oh, oh, let's get back to the story. I really thought that was a great part of it. See, that's what we call improv. Uh, that wasn't planned. It just kind of happened. But yeah, thank you. It was great. Any final comments from anyone? Any other questions? Yes? Mary, are you okay? Because you, you are really out of breath. We're running in circles. It's okay. It's a workout. This is the most workout <laughs> exercise that either of us have done in a long time. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for the thumbs up there. Okay, thank you guys for watching. This has been fun.